What's up guys? So today we have some Perrin goodness. We are installing a Perrin short ram intake onto my STI. So let's get to it. These are the tools you're going to need to put the uh, the Perrin intake on. It's just a uh, it's a screwdriver with a either a flathead or a Phillips. You'll need them both. You'll need a 10 mil socket, preferably deep, and uh, just a good old wrench. So the first thing you're going to do is remove this factory like you know intake, and it's just two 10 millimeter bolts right here. So we'll get those off. Now that these 10 mm bolts are out, pull this off. It might feel like there's a screw holding it in, but it actually just slides right off and then you're good to go. So the stock air box is located right here. There's gonna be two coolant lines on top of it. All you gotta do is just slip them out. If your car was just running, they're gonna be a little hot. So keep that in mind when you're doing this. The hose clamps that we're gonna be unscrewing right now are right here. This first one is on the turbo inlet hose and then this other one which is connected to the box. This might also be kind of on there, but you just gotta pull it off like that. All right, next step, you're gonna be unscrewing the MAF. It's not just clipping this off. You actually have to unscrew these two Phillips head screws and the whole little little clip will come right off. And then slowly slide your MAF out. Don't damage it or rub it up against anything. And maybe while you're doing the rest of the installation, cover that with a bag or something. You don't wanna get that dirty. Now Buster is removing the uh, actual air box. Okay guys, so when you're putting in this filter, you can delete everything, like you can delete the intake, the actual air box, and the little side thing that goes in the wheel well. But I feel like the filter wouldn't get that much airflow, so what I'm gonna do is leave that intake and leave the little side scoop that's in the wheel well, but I'm gonna delete the box. So it can still get airflow from out there and you know be proper and hopefully get a little bit more of a a, uh, a cold impulse of air. So for getting rid of this box, it's kind of bulky and not needed, there is a 12 millimeter bolt down there. So use an extension and we'll get that off. There's another bolt down in this area. You'll see it if you look down there. It's kind of hard to get with this camera. So yeah, you just gotta unratchet that and then this should come out. The first part we're going to be putting on is the parent little coupler here. So just kind of get the stretch on there. It might take a little bit. But we just spent like probably 20 minutes trying to wrestle this T-bolt clamp onto here, for the one supplied by Perrin. It did not want to go at all. Like we tried wrestling it on every way we could. So we just went with the stock hose clamp. Okay guys, so for the next part we're putting the little um, support bracket that was given with the package. So we're just gonna reuse one of these bolts for down there, and we're just gonna slide that on there. Slide in your hose. All right guys, now so for the next step, you're going to be reinstalling your MAF. Let's get this out of our bag. Give that a blow or two. And then uh, Perrin is nice enough to send you two new bolts, or new screws, so just set that right in place where your stock one was and then just tighten these screws down. All right guys, so now that this is on, you can put on our filter here, from Perrin. There might be some fit issues at first, but you get those ironed out and have it on. Right, so now that uh, our filter's on and our MAF is in, these two are tightened, took a little bit because this cone can be a little greasy sometimes. We're now going to tighten our hose clamp right here, and then take your 11 millimeter bolt and tighten up the T-bolt clamp. Okay guys, so now that this is all hooked up and you're one hose clamps here are good, your teeth clamps are there, these are all tight and your map's on. You can install this back onto the factory little air inlet. And all you gotta do is just kinda shove it on there, just kinda wiggle until it goes on. And it'll just eventually pop on.
guys, so you just heard some high speed driving, but here's just some normal cruising around just to see what it sounds like. Checking all the hoses. I give you a few passes on the intake. It sounds amazing. Alright, we're good to go. Alright, guys, that was how to install a parent short ram intake on a 2004 WRX STI. And it sounds absolutely amazing. We did some roll by shots, you probably heard by now, and it just sounds incredible incredible from outside of the car. Yeah, it sounds really awesome. Um, so guys, basically that's it. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe, share, view any of our other videos if you're new to the channel. There'll be much more to come. I mean, we got a lot of plans for both the Speed and the STI. We want, we want a lot of mods down the road, so it'll be good. More videos to come. Yeah, lots more. All right, see you guys.